All right, guys, how's it going? This is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine art artist, I'm a painter, and welcome to another session in the art studio. Okay, got my Starbucks ready, yeah. That's how I roll. Lots of foam, lots of cream. Uh, what is it called? Breve, that's what they call it. They call it Breve. They have a, a special little little name for it. Okay guys, so today I'm gonna do a, a, a floral, okay, type of painting. Uh, this is actually a stem. And just to, you know, just to uh, sort of uh, show you what my day consists of, okay? I'm, I'm dropping videos like this on a daily basis, you guys. Okay, this is not a one-shot thing. I'm not looking to for it to go viral because it's so special. <laughs> if it does, that'd be cool. But that's not what I'm. That's not what I'm after here. Uh, I'm just. I'm just recording my process, my artistic process, you guys. Okay, and if it benefits someone, awesome. If it doesn't, well, cool too. You know, whatever. Uh, I'm. I'm just. I'm still doing my gig here, okay? So, this is how I start. One of the many ways that I start, okay? I found art to be so rewarding in my life. I'm a, I'm a full-time painter. This is all I do. Uh, well, not, it's not the only thing that I do, but, but <laughs> I paint, I package paintings, I ship paintings. I, <laughs> I do a, a couple of little things, but, but overall. Okay, so I'm going to use a magenta with a bright red. I like it because it makes that nice um, berry color. It's a very, a very berry color. There's many ways of holding the brush. I, I, I like to hold the brush like this sometimes. Sometimes I'll hold it like this. Okay? There's many ways. It just depends on the mood. I follow the mood. I'm the type of artist that follows... Uh, well, I wouldn't say the mood because that would mean some sentimental BS. No, I, I, I follow the rhythm. Ooh, the rhythm. So if the rhythm asks me, flip it, I'll flip it. If it doesn't, I'll, you know, I won't think much of it and I'll keep painting like this until I'm, you know, persuaded by the rhythm to change. And those of you who are uh, musicians uh, know what I'm talking about in music. We, we practice the same way. And not just the music, if you play a sport, if you play a sport well, uh, you don't have to be a pro, but, but if you play it well, you understand. The rhythm is a zone. In music, we practice it like that. So sometimes we, we switch, but nevertheless, we, f we, we end in the right time signature. We have to, right? No matter what we do, no matter where in the scale we go. And, uh, I was a guitarist, so no matter no matter where you go, you have to always, you know, fall in the in the in the time, right? And if you don't fall in the time, you're doing something awesome, or you don't know how to play, <laughs> one or the other. You're doing some offbeat cool stuff, or or you're not there. Yet. <laughs> so that's it. That's just how I see it. Okay. Very simple stuff. Look at that. Look at that awesomeness. It's simple. It's not, it's not complicated. It shouldn't be complicated. Now, I know you guys hear me, those of you who have seen my, my, my videos, you guys hear me talk about this a lot, how it's not complicated. And maybe some of you are like, Mark, not complicated to you. Well, I, I, I get it, you know, but, but it shouldn't be complicated. Even if it doesn't come off, you know, whatever you're doing, however you're painting, if it doesn't come out uh, the exact way you want it, it's okay. It's okay. It shouldn't. I think, in my in my in my point of view, it shouldn't. 
if it comes out this if it comes out this the exact same way same way you want it uh, this is how I see it okay I'm not saying I'm not saying that this is how you should live your artistic journey but the way I see it is if it comes out that way how I envisioned it I didn't do a very good job mm -hmm. It has to be more than what I envision, is what I'm trying to say. It has to be richer than what I what I envision. Why? Because, because my mind is limited. You know, my mind is very limited, and I couldn't begin to, 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 uh, to explore in my mind, my ideas, what something, what you know. Now, if you're if you're if you're copying something that's different. And what I mean by that is, for example, um, you are a portrait painter, right? And then you did the, your preliminary work, right? On a, on a paper or on a canvas or whatever, right? That means that you're, 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 you're copying. You're not copying stroke by stroke or whatever, but you're, you're, it doesn't even have to be something else. It could be your own drawing. It doesn't have to be a photograph or whatever. It could be your own drawing. Sculptors do that all the time, right? They create a, a, a small scale of their sculpture if they're going to do something big. And, 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 uh, and they, they scale it, right, from a small one. That's, see, that's what I'm talking about. So in a way, that's, you're copying your own work, right? Copy, co copy such a negative work. People, people I'm, you know what I mean. I'm not trying to say that. <laughs> that you're not being genuine. Of course, you're being genuine. It's your work. Let <laughs> people get caught up in those in those concepts. But um, that's different because you already allow the work, the artwork, to come through in your preliminary work, right? In your smaller scale. For example, if I wanted to do this one, this is an eleven by fourteen inches painting. If I wanted to turn it, which I've done many times. Uh, different commissions or patrons want, you know, collectors want different stuff, uh, different sizes. So I've turned something like this into about four feet or five feet big, you know, large, large uh, canvases. I turned one into four by six feet, uh, a version of something like this. It was a bougainvillea floral, okay? I, I, I turned a few of those like that, probably about ten of those like that, different florals. And, uh, and before I start doing the large one, or even when I'm doing the large one, uh, uh, I have to allow the artwork to come out first. So sometimes maybe I'll do something a size like this and allow allow the artwork. I won't try to copy it, but I but I see what it what, you know. I, I use it as a reference to the larger ones. But you still created the work in this. I know I'm hammering it, but I feel like I have to sometimes. <laughs> So you get it. Something like that. And it's good to figure out, you know, it's good to 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 to, to uh, allow the work to, to come forward and not be concerned with it has to be this way, it has to be that way. Because if it is uh, again this is my point of view. If it is, I don't think I'm creating artwork. I think I'm, 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 I'm almost certain that I'm not creating artwork. I'm trying to, I'm trying to please my mind. And the mind knows very little of art, if anything. I don't think the mind knows anything about artwork. Okay? The mind is, is a... Uh, the mind, the, the mind, I've said it many times, I'll say it again. The mind is a tool that we use. But, but if you try to say, oh, this painting needs to look like that, you're, 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 you may be going in the wrong direction and not know it. I understand that we have, we have um, 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 expectations, right? And we want to meet them and blah, blah, blah. But it's so much richer. It is. You just you just don't figure that out until you've done it enough. To allow, to have a, a goal, right? Oh, I'm gonna paint some a floral, right? But not really. 
Not really. And even, even when you practice even more, you don't even say that. Right now I said that. Right? But as I'm painting, um, I didn't know where the stems were going to go. I didn't know how big the flowers were going to be, how bright, or, or, or I didn't know any of that. I really didn't. And, and, um, and when you let that happen, you always, 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 always surprise yourself. Because the magic is greater when you allow than when you try to force. The magic is always greater when you allow. I didn't know exactly how blue my blue was going to be. Or, or if I was going to use blue at all. You know. And you practice and you practice and you practice and then you, you suddenly start, it looks sudden, right? But it didn't happen suddenly. You get to a point where you just, where you just say, "Oh, I'm going to paint," but unless you're established in your, in your theme, you know that you're like, "I only paint, I don't know, birds, or I only paint flowers." Well, that's different, right? Um, but let's say you're not, right? You're like me. You're a free bird. Um, you say, "I'm going to paint," and and you start painting, but you don't know yet what you're going to paint. Now again, okay, now let me let me go back a little bit. Unless you're doing something which I call you're copying something uh, of nature directly, right? You're interpreting something like a still life, a portrait. Then at that point, well, you know what you're going to paint, right? But even then you don't know what it's going to look like. And you 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 place very low value on expectation. You place a lot of value on you. See, because the expectation is a given. If you practice enough, if you work hard enough, if you, um, yeah, if you if you if you focus and you work daily and you do what you have to do, um, the expectation will be met because it's it's only natural, you know. It's like people say, what would you do in a situation? You act natural. And if you practice and rehearse, it even flows more. You know, floor flows even more natural. Anyways, I just wanted to touch a little bit on that. I'm going to put a little bit of, of green here. Just because I feel like we can. It feels possible. Possibility. A good thing, not too much, you know, just enough to to remind it that there's some green here happening. Not too much, just enough right there. Okay, and then very light. There you go. Just because. And then here I come with my signature. And there it is, my good friends. There's a floral painting. A very beautiful, in my opinion, floral painting. It's full of Genesis Quas. Full of life. Just there. Waiting to be admired. Or not. <laughs> Take care, you guys. I will be coming with uh, to you with uh, new videos. Okay? I'm dropping videos uh, always. Just about daily. If, if you don't see a video here, go check out my Facebook. My Facebook page. My, face, my Facebook fan page. Okay? I'm going to post it here uh, somewhere down there. Uh, and I do Facebook live sessions there too. And I go behind the scenes a little bit more, you know, kind of thing, different things happening. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care and be awesome.